Hi everyone, welcome back to Genotopia. Well, I thought I would do a get ready with me today using the ColourPop Double Entendre palette. So let's get started. Let me get my makeup bag over here and just have a chit chat with you. Well, let me get my mirror. My lips are so dry from going without lipstick um, or chapstick on my lips for a couple of nights that I've got to exfoliate them. So I am using this Pure Exfoliator. And here is the Miss Bells. So put this on my lips and rub them together real, real good. Here, my jaws are grinding. Come on, Bells. And then we'll rub that off. Really, really good. Then I'm going to put my Steve Laurent lip oil on. I hope everybody had a great July 4th. We had a great one. We went down my brother's. He uh, cooked out for the family. And I got to see uh, my niece, Brandy, that I hadn't seen in a while. And I got to meet her new husband, Dalton, and see four out of the five of her kids. And got to spend time with Sarah. Come on, baby. Spend some time with Sarah and uh, her daughter, Addie. And, um, of course, my brother and his gorgeous wife, Lisa. And uh, Mel, I got to spend time with her. Hadn't got to see her since we got back from New York. So here's the Miss Bells. She says, give mommy a thumbs up and a share. Says, be sure to like our video and subscribe. Yeah. So let me give her some treats. Where's your treat jar, baby? Here it is. So here you go. There you go, baby. You know, everybody loves the Bells. So I'm going to start my face out with the It um, Confidence in a Jar. It's a really good cream. I've really got a lot of use out of this. I'm having a breakout right here in this section. And the only thing different that I have used is this No Pore Prime Essence. And it's water-based. I can't imagine that I would be having an allergic reaction to it. The only thing I can think of besides that is... I worked out in Mom's yard and sweated so bad that maybe that caused a breakout. But I mean, I'm having just a huge breakout down here on my chin of puscular, or you know, pusculable bumps, and it's just, oh, terrible breakout. Get Bill for off my face, just a nasty breakout. You know, we all hate those. They look terrible. Can't do nothing about them. So I'm using the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. I'm trying to use this up. Of course, I've got some Avon Primer on order. I heard they might possibly be discontinuing that. And I will be quite upset if they do. But if they do, then I will fall back on the... Um, eyeshadow primer from Ulta, the Ulta Matte Eyeshadow Primer, because that's my second favorite, and it is a really good eyeshadow primer. So, now my Double Entendre Palette by, by ColourPop. Now, this is a pretty new purchase for me. Now, let me get my brushes out here. I went to actually get the um, Yes Please Palette. And I saw this palette, and I thought, oh, man, this is so up my alley. And so the Yes Please is still on my wish list. So maybe someone will get me that for my birthday. And July being my birthday month, I am going to have a giveaway. So everyone who comments on any of my videos in the month of July is going into a giveaway. Got a hair on my brush. So if you comment 
five times, you get five entries. If you comment, however many times you comment, you'll get an entry. And I don't care if you've won before, you are still eligible. Just ask Miss Tara Hart. She has won twice. And I love Miss Tara. She lives in Florida. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Okay, I think I've said that. Another, I just find that kind of a tacky. Okay, now let's go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the, let's see, this shade right here and I'm going to use that in my transition. I know it's a very, very faint shade, but I'm very pale skinned, so you can barely tell it's there, but I can see it. I'm not sure if you can or not. I can see it. There's my tummy growling. This palette is beautiful. Like I said, I went to get the Yes Please palette and saw this one and I'm like, oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I used the 350 off coupon. So instead of $16.50 or $16, I got it for $12.50. And I think it is fast becoming my favorite ColourPop palette. Okay, next I'm going into, let's see, Let's go into the shade next to it, and I'm going to go just a fuzz below that, and put that into my crease, and just a little bit below that. That is one of the shades I bought this palette for. I just thought that shade was so pretty. The whole palette's beautiful. I'm into, into these. This, these colors are my jam. I love them. They're just so creamy and look beautiful on. I really should put foundation on first because these really don't have a lot of fallout. And I think that's what I'm going to do so that I can get a prettier look out here on my edge. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So tell me, what did you all do on the 4th? Norton is not having their fireworks until Saturday night, tomorrow night. So, I guess that's what we're doing on the 6th, is going to our local fireworks show. Um, big Stone Gap had a big festival yesterday, but we didn't go to that. We spent time at my brother's, like I said, and then just came home and kind of chilled. Like Dorothy said, there's no place like home. Mom wasn't feeling good yesterday, and we, she didn't make it to my brother's. She picked potato salad and sent it, and uh, we picked it up and took it. I baked a cake and took drinks, but um, I worry about Mom so much, so I took her a plate by after we went and left my brother's to check on her, really. Not just to take her plate, but to check on her. She worked so hard to be 77 years old. Well, she turned 77 this year. She's 76. But she worked so hard, it just worries me to death. Those of you who has aging parents understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'm using my Revlon 24 Hour Color Stay. I'm trying to finish up this bottle. I finished up a bottle last month that I had. And I had two daggone good coupons to use at CVS, and they expired yesterday. I meant to go use them and just forgot that they expired yesterday, so I forgot to do that. I could probably
probably got them for basically two do two bottle um, two bottles for a couple bucks a piece and just got get irritated at myself for forgetting stuff. And then a beauty blender, which I forgot to weigh it, but I use them dry all the time, so. I actually forgot to put peach under my eyes. See what I do when I get to talking. I don't always do this, but I'm having so much discoloration under my eyes lately that really needing to do this. And that's the Ulta Beauty Peach Concealer. Really should have said that, but no, have a cup. Susan Anthony would say. A little bit better. I feel like I got cake face going on, and I don't mean birthday cake. Little bells. Little baby. Down my neck. Up into my hairline. I'm irritated at my cable company. Well, actually, it's not their fault, but ABC and CBS has been dropped from my local cable. I get direct TV and it's the drop, so no Y&R. What am I going to do about that without the y &R? Of course, I don't, really don't like the storyline going on right now. I don't like that they brought back the old Phyllis. I like the current Phyllis that they had before this. Okay, I'm going back into that shade that I was using. Nick was running out of Dark Horse. They're bringing back everybody that was supposedly dead. I just don't like that storyline with it. Everybody's dead. Is it really dead? They bring them back a dozen times. The only reason they didn't bring Catherine Chancellor back is because she really died. They can't bring Neil back because he's really dead. Unless they bring him back with a new, new person playing that character role. And you could never replace Cash, Catherine Chancellor. And poor Neil Winters committed suicide, so the real guy who played Neil Winters. Okay, now let's go into this peachy color above that last color that I just used. And let's Just barely up into the crease. Okay, so 
such crazy eyes. You can move your skin and it wants to stay that way. <laughs> a beautiful powder though. I think this palette really is a lot like the um, Naked Heat palette. But with more usable colors. Of course I decluttered that Naked Heat palette. love that color. I want to make sure I see that color. And the reason I decluttered the Naked Heat is because I had the um, Petite Heat palette, which was all mattes, and I just loved the all matte one. So I felt like as long as I had this, I didn't need the big one because I get so many pretty looks out of this and uh, use that a lot. You know, I've got that little rack that I bought sitting right here, so my palettes are so accessible. Now that I can see them all, pull out this drawer in front of me, and I've got that sitting right there. I can see all my palettes, and I feel like they're just going to get more use this way instead of... Palettes there, palettes here, palettes there, you know, palettes up there, palettes in four or five different places. I wasn't seeing them all, so they all weren't getting the love that they deserve. This way, I see them all every time I sit down, and I just feel like they're going to get more attention. Okay, now I'm going with a flat brush, and I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into this shade right here, the glitter shade, shimmer shade, and I'm going to go on the front of my lid. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so beautiful. And just bring that out just a little bit. In the corner of my eye. Down on the bottom just a little bit. I'm thinking about doing my favorite palette from five different brands. I've been seeing that going on a lot on YouTube, so I'm thinking about doing that. And let's see, let me go in with a another brush, and let's see what shade do I want to deepen up the V with. I think I'm going to go with that kind of burnt brown there. And just going out here on the edge just a little bit. And deepening that up. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And then bring it underneath my eye. This palette is so pretty. I love this palette. That pure lip scrub really did, made a difference in my lips, too. Let me tell you, they were feeling pretty bad. So let me go back with, with this brush right here and do some blending. And go back into that 
think I should have used it there. Because I really do like that shade. I want to see that shade up there. Okay. Now for mascara. I'm using the Ulta Plush Drama Mascara. This color makes my green eyes look nice. Eyeshadow color. Adding a little on my lower lashes. Pillow's just stalking in here. I don't know why she's not come back over. Okay, now we need some. Let's go with the Park Avenue Princess palette. Okay, let's see this one little brush I use. I'm going with the shade Princess Cut in here. It's about the only shade I use out this palette. Really use it as a bronzer, I just kind of just put it right there to highlight my cheekbones a little more. Down here to shadow my jawline. on the sides of my nose. Because I've got that Owen's nose. Alright. And now for blush. Let's see what blush I want to use today. I think I will use my Tarte Or no, it's party. Tart party. Party. I just to sweep down my nose. my chin and for highlighter today I think I will use from my Becca Be A Light palette I think I will use this shade over here and you can see this palette gets a lot of love Give to me by my friend Susan Anthony. Down my nose, on the tip of 
my nose. Right there on my cupid's bow. Yeah. Beautiful palette if y'all have not seen this. It's gorgeous. Beautiful palette. And a lipstick. You all know what it is. Teddy bear. Given to me my precious niece Erica. It's just a staple for me. And my lipstick arsenal. No, I don't use it every day, but I use it at least three or four times a week. I should have put powders on before I put my lipstick on because I have been using the Mary Kay powders. My sister Whitney sells Mary Kay and I did like these powders. So I have been using powders a little bit. So I should have put these on before I put my lipstick on and I forgot to. Because I'm not used to using powders. And then I'm going to spray my face with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So that is my Get Ready With Me using the ColourPop Double Entendre Palette. I hope you enjoy this. If you've not seen this palette, which I, you're like me, you've been under a rock if you've not seen it or if you've not bought it. It's a beautiful palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. I like and share. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, comment on this video to be entered into my birthday giveaway. And as always, share the love, not the hate. And uh, the ColourPop Double Entendre is a great palette.